So from tomorrow, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, three days for the next three weeks, probably nine classes of pediatrics will be taken by evening 5 to 8 p.m. by Dr. Sri Krishna, a top pediatrician, WHO consultant, very good in pediatrics. So he will be reviewing the subject in 20, 25 hours. Huh? So please do come, you are all welcome, uh, free to the session and uh, evening 5 to 8 a.m., 8 p.m. on uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So if you find listening pediatrics is easier than reading pediatrics, please do come. But if you feel reading is faster than listening, read yourself, whichever, um, whichever the way you are comfortable. But I want you to 10 out of 10 marks in pediatrics. You should uh, be scoring in the state entrance, all India around 10 to 15 questions in pediatrics. Now doctor, deep vein thrombosis, the clinical diagnosis is not always obvious. Unless you are a top clinician and there are clinicians for whom even if it is obvious they can't perceive it. So you should have high index of suspicion. Unilateral leg edema. Whenever somebody comes to you, two possibilities, DVT or cellulitis. Feel the warmth of the overlying skin. So look for the signs of inflammation. But some people will have both cellulitis and DVT together. Cellulitis led to pain, pain led to immobilization, immobilization led to DVT. Kismet. Huh? So, all probabilities are there in clinical medicine, doctor. There is nothing dogmatic about it. Hmm? That is the point. <clears throat> then, regarding meningiomas, what is a wrong statement? They call the vasogenic edema, not a cytotoxic edema, is what you need to understand. In subarachnoid hemorrhage, you can't see that yellow coloration of the CSF with a naked eye, not within two hours of bleed. So, regarding dysphagia, dysphagia, whenever esophageal reflux disease is there, Endoscopy is what you will be doing, not the barium swallow. Right? Then, vagal fibers are efferent, not afferent. And uh, left gastric artery and right gastric artery. If you take, left is a branch of celiac axis, right is a branch of common hepatic artery. You should be quite sure. Right? Similarly, superior, inferior, pancreatic or duodenal artery, whose branches they are? So, all vascular branches are there, no, aorta, celiac axis, all that you should master in anatomy. Now, coming to the gastric cancer, what is genetics? Loss of heterozygosity, gene coding the beta catherine is mutated, E. cadherin, there is a mutation, there are all the uh, problems of molecular pathology. How do you say that the gastric cancer is incurable? Incurable. Suppose that the distal peritoneum is involved. You are a laparoscopic surgeon and uh, I mean you are a surgeon and did a laparotomy. You found all distal peritoneum studded with meds. No point in further going ahead. You will close the abdomen and come out. Because it is a sign of incurability is what need to be remembered. Now what is the normal capacity of gallbladder? What is the normal capacity of a quarter whiskey bottle? 250 ml, not gallbladder. Gallbladder's capacity is 35 to 50 ml. At least we are asking an easy question. At least your physical imagination between 250 ml and 35 ml, anatomy may dekha hoga na, it is actually gallbladder. Ko. Huh? Then acute appendicitis. There is no role for routine use of contrast enhancer CT unless your spouse is a radiologist and owning a radiology center. Right. So, it is basically a clinical diagnosis. Ultrasound, only if the Alvarado score, ultrasound is equivocal, where you are not very sure. 
Then there is a role for CECT so that you can avoid inadvertent surgery, not to lead to unnecessary surgery. Risk factor for the cancer of head and neck, what is a false statement? Plumber Vincent is definitely a risk factor. Precancerous condition is what need to be remembered. Oral cancer, trismus, painless neck lump, etc. Always simple rule. Any lump painful, good news. It is inflammatory, not malignant. Painless, hard lump. Get ready your papers and then go to CT. Especially if you are more than 60. Right? After ulcers common in all medical students. They are not pre-malignant. Medical students are malignant. Right? So, after ulcers in their mouth are not pre-malignant. Parathyroid. Third and fourth. But fourth is superior. Third is inferior. Oh, dikkat hai. Thyroidoxic arrhythmias. They can lead to extra systoles, fats and atrial fibrillation, not ventricular tachycardia. FIO can lead to the production of catecholamine, ACTH, calcitonin, but not steroid. Steroid is something to do with uh, adrenal cortex or medulla, cortex, right? Then, Binswanger's disease. It is basically that subcortical atherosclerotic changes in the lacunar vessels leading to multiple punctate infarcts leading to ultimately dementia, vascular dementia. Huh? So, small vessel vascular dementia caused by the damage to the white brain matter is Binswanger's disease. Now, hidden injury in trauma patients, what is the approach? Look everywhere approach, focused exclusion approach, directive approach. All these approaches are also used for MCQ solving in PG medical exam. Look everywhere. Everybody is question paper. What they are answering. Focused exclusion. If nobody is showing their paper, at least try to sit and think how can I exclude. Then deductive approach. Question itself is giving a clue about the answer. So, Right? There is no patient's response to trauma approach. That is after you fail the exam. Now, in patients of head injury, what are the causes of secondary brain injury? So, there are two types, primary and secondary brain injury. Head injury may. Primary bullet directly your uh, cerebral cortex is uh, ruptured, punctured, torn by the impact. Secondary is that impact led to the damage of blood brain barrier and inflammatory mediators are released. Free radicals are injured, released. All that will lead to the ultimate injury, which is called secondary injury, is what you need to remember. Spinal injuries may, two column injuries are always unstable. If you take, for example, uh, a burst fracture, it is always unstable. And it involves at least anterior and middle column are disrupted. So you must be sure on different hangman's fracture, clay, shoveler's fracture, all those cervical spine injuries. Uh, you need to be ready with those eponymous names. Urgent terracotomy, what is an indication? Suppose you have 200 ml of blood per hour in the next 3 to 4 hours. You have to do the record today. How many of you answered tension in the next? Raise the hand. No? Good. So, martial hemorrhage or hemothorax with a loss more than 200 ml in 3 to 4 hours is an important indication. Membranous urethral rupture, bulbar urethral rupture. Differences between the two. You have to be very sure, doctor. So, I think uh, correct answer should be D, not B. Because acute retention, blooded external meatus, perineal hematoma. They are all called the classical triad of the urethral injury. So, 
they are all true and it is due to the direct blow to the perineum straddle injury it is called the alcoholic man walking on the street and straddle turned up and then hit his perineum led to development of bulbar injury belly and low make acha illustration right that they retained since past three decades so you can review that huh? so uh, in rupture of membranous urethra also all urethral injuries don't insert the catheter you will be completing the job started by the god unfinished job partial tear become complete tear if you try to do the uh, urethral catheter insertion urethral stricture generally we don't repair unless in a elderly patient only in elderly people urethral dilatation is a form of the treatment um, and not often used is what need to be remembered hydrocel may no role for what is the advertisement in the old city shabbir ali khan returned from dubai muscat no surgery no cutting injection therapy for hydrocel charmnar ke area mein aapko bahut posters dikhayega na no role for that unless ali shabbir ali introducing needle will bring you to gabbar singh who has to manage your sepsis dr gabbar singh Uh, so that's the reason no role for that then if he only advertises that uh, injection therapy is sufficient that's fine below that he will write after injection therapy the erectile dysfunction improves to attract more customers to attend uh, uh, his uh, quack store uh, so ultimately when you do ms mcg as urology you have to compete with shabiralis be very sure huh? so highest sensitivity in the localizing parathyroid adenomas such the maybe scan is the one which you will basically use photo hypertension what is the definition there are multiple ways of defining it one is splenic pressure more than 15 is one definition or uh, a portal venous pressure measured at surgery more than 20 mm hg is another definition or a direct portal venous pressure more than 5 mm of mercury is another definition of uh, portal hypertension which you need to remember but here is what hepatic vein thrombosis always any thrombosis state what is the main part of treatment anticoagulation is what you need heparin and warfarin later is what you need to basically do now a microscopic focus of cancer is found in the polyp after endoscopic resection what is that feature in the resected sample that mandates you to do the surgery basically it is the lymphovascular invasion invasive carcinoma in the head of the pedunculated polyp with no stock involvement means low risk of metastasis and it can be completely resected endoscopically but if there is a lymphovascular invasion or if it is a poorly differentiated histology or the tumor is within 1 mm of the resection margins and then that becomes an indication for segmental colectomy a more extensive surgery rather than only plucking out that polyp is what you need to do take it granted doctor every all india every aims pgi carcinoma colon you go and check carcinoma colon is a definite topic examiner will not forget so you have to master all basics which are pre malignant polyps non malignant polyps when will you do different types of colectomy similarly anal carcinoma rectal carcinoma what are the treatment protocols will you do radiation will you give surgery will you do what type of surgery all those you have to master i'll keep asking you as them as questions in our mock test to check your preparedness for the exam huh? now ulcerating colitis is responding to therapy with steroids or immunosuppressives which ocular manifestations all of them but not uveitis ye to thoda super duper dm wala question first of all what are the ocular manifestations of ulcerative colitis aapko malum hai to बढ़िया ग्रेट 
and that uh, water steroid response non response we say don't worry if you did this wrong some questions you did wrong no regret they are uh, the, your tears don't deserve to uh, have a bereavement reaction on those mortalities of these questions but uh, there are questions you do wrong you have to sit and read in vengeance to see that to that topic you will never do wrong okay doc now which colonic polyp has highest incidence of malignant degeneration villus adenoma relatively and uh, uh, we'll call it a day happy rakhi festival and uh, uh, enjoy the festival mood of a full moon day and get into high moods so that by next full moon day you are uh, 30% better in your performance in the mock test right doctor and uh, please ask your friends to come to pediatric session monday tuesday wednesday in the evening uh, if you have time huh? so there is a quick revision in about 9 uh, days 9 into 3 25 to 26 hours he will revise all pediatrics pediatrics is one of the major determinant if the state md entrance only five subjects you read and go you will still get seat medicine surgery gynops 90 marks aa gaya pediatrics orthopedics ent often spm bus khel kadam dukan band last moment mein if you did not read anything that is the only secret but now you have lot of time to read hmm? thank you yeah one one of our friends is asking out of 300 how much to score how much is 150 out of uh, 200 we also have a all india paper 150 out of 200 is 80% or 75% 75% of 300 means 220 should be your three digit score for 300 mark paper huh that should be the goal ha huh. that's right thank you